Uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen to educate we are still continuing on the nervous system we have already made two videos explaining uh, all this process what is the nervous system it is basically that system that um, responds to what's happening outside in your body so now um, I, wrong, I strongly strongly recommend you to watch our previous two videos on the, this topic so that you get an understanding on neurons and how they transmit impulses. So now today we're going to be talking about the reflex action. So you already know what a reflex action in real life is. So a reflex action is just your response when you touch a hot stove by mistake. For example, when there is a hot surface or maybe your mom is cooking on the stove and then you touch the stove by mistake. Maybe you touch the hot pot by mistake. You quickly pull away your hand. Or maybe when somebody steps on top of your foot, on your toe or something like that. So that ouch response that you make as you remove or as you take out your hand quickly so that you can protect yourself from more danger, that is called a reflex action. So it is just basically that response that you do um, how you respond to to some danger for example you can you don't want to get bent your hand does not want to get bent hence yeah you have to pull out the hand quickly so that is a reflex action so in scientific terms we define a reflex action as a quick and automatic response to a stimulus so it is a quick and automatic response to a stimulus this is the acceptable definition when we say that the response is quick, it just means that you take out your hand from that hot stove quickly. And then when it says that the response is automatic, it means that it happens on its own. So I know you might not believe me, but then um, what actually pulls your hand away from that hot surface or maybe pull away your foot from somebody stepping on it it is the muscles in your feet and in your hands it is the muscles that are controlling the process it is not you that is choosing to take your hand out of the out of the hot hot stove so for example when you touch a hot stove or something that is burning or something hot by a mistake then you pull out your hand quickly it is not you that is pulling out or it is not you that is responding to that um to that particular hot surface but it is the muscles in your hand that are pulling away so a reflex action is quick and automatic you don't have to choose you don't have to think about it it's just that it just happens on its own because you'd want to get more bent so a reflex action allows for a quick response to a stimulus so that you can minimize injury when we say that we are minimizing injury it means that you will not get more bent if you pull out your hand quickly so because a reflex action has taken place your hand will be protected from being damaged so this will prevent damage to your body for example uh, if I'm stepping on your toe, for example, or on your foot or something like that, you will quickly remove that foot. That is a reflex action so that I do not harm you even more. So it prevents the damage to the body. This is the significance of a reflex action. So this is all the response of the nervous system through the work of neurons and impulses. As I've recommended, you should know what a neuron is and understand the whole concept of impulses before watching this video on reflex action i'll put the links in the description of the videos so the impulse which is the message that you have touched the hot plate remember an impulse it is just a message that is sent to the central nervous system based on a stimulus for example you have touched a hot surface or a hot stove plate you have touched it so this is the stimulus or this is what happened it is just something that is happening to you right it's called a stimulus and then this stimulus uh, for it to get to the central nervous system it it doesn't travel as it is as a hot stove or something like that it travels as an electrical impulse or a nerve impulse it goes to the central nervous system through the help of neurons so the neurons are the one that transmit the message so now 
the impulse or that message travels through a path called the reflex arc so a reflex arc is just this path that this impulse or that this message travels so that it reaches the central nervous system from your maybe this is your hand that is touched from your hand which is feeling the stimulus and converting that into an impulse that impulse that particular impulse or the message moves to the central nervous system so this path which it takes is called a reflex arc so by definition a reflex arc is a pathway along which an impulse is transmitted to bring about a response to a stimulus during a reflex action so this happens during a reflex action a reflex arc is just this path that is taken by the message just like from for example as a message moves from whatsapp uh, maybe from <clears throat> between me and somebody else let's just say this is another person it moves through this platform called whatsapp right so in this way this message is coming from the skin maybe the skin is feeling hot for this message to get to the central nervous system this path that it takes during a reflex action is called a reflex arc so now let us look at the reflex arc how does it look so now this is the scenario you can just see that this is a hot object this is a dial like a plate on the stove so can you see that initially the hand of the person here this is initially or at the beginning the hand of the person touched this hot stove and then it pulled away quickly now it is here so it has pulled away because it is very very hot so now let us look at how does that actually happens because we have said that this is an automatic response it is not the person who pulled the hand away but then the hands muscles these muscles in the hand pulled the hand away so that the hand does not get damaged so now as we look at it um what actually happens so this is this is the place that is feeling the heat right this is the finger so we call this place a, a receptor why do we call it a receptor it is the one that receives the stimulus so when you say that it receives the stimulus it is the one that is feeling the heat remember the stimulus is anything happening around the environment so in this case what is feeling the heat it is the skin or the, the the finger specifically here so here the receptor is there is there is the skin so remember that this message that there is heat it does not move as it is but then it is converted into an impulse so that impulse now let's just say this is the hand just look at the scenario this is the hand that impulse or that message remember it travels through the sensory neuron here it is you can see this is the message traveling through the sensory neuron so this green thing is the sensory neuron so the sensory neuron is just transmitting this message or this impulse that it is there is a hot surface here there is an hot object then this moves this moves all the way to the central nervous system specifically this is the spinal cord so the central nervous system involved in the reflex arc is the spinal cord remember the central nervous system it is the brain and the spinal cord right but then during a reflex action the brain is not involved because you do not have to think about removing your hand from a hot surface but then it happens automatically so it involves the spinal cord only so now i say this impulse or this message that there is heat there or there is a hot object it moves through this part called the sensory neuron so here it is moving 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 and then when it reaches here it is now at the spinal cord right you can see that there's just this part here this part is your inter neuron remember that uh, an impulse moves from the sensory neuron and goes to the interneuron and then goes to the motor neuron after the motor neuron it goes to the effector that muscle which pulls away so now when it reaches here it goes into the interneuron then from the interneuron it goes into this blue part you can see it is labeled motor neuron this blue part here 
it is the motor neuron and then it moves it moves it moves away 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 and it goes to this muscle telling this muscle to pull the hand away from the hot surface so this is just basically how you end up pulling your hand away from a hot surface it is just through the work of neurons what happens first the receptor it is the one that is receiving the message or it is receiving the heat that is the stimulus so the receptor receives the heat hence here it is written receptors so here your finger is receiving the heat and then it turns it into a message called an impulse remember that the heat doesn't travel through your body all the way to your spinal cord because your spinal cord is at the back imagine the heat traveling through your skin all the way to your back that would be so not usual so now it moves as a nerve impulse or an electrical impulse it moves first from the receptor it goes into the sensory neuron which is this green part it moves through the sensory neuron goes all the way to the spinal cord which is the central nervous system it now meets here this part called the interneuron let me just try to erase so that you can see here so it now meets here that red part this red part let me just use a highlighter this this neuron here it is the interneuron and then from the interneuron the impulses or the message that there is heat or in ho a hot object moves to this blue neuron which is the motor neuron all all the way to this you can see this blue moving all the way to the effector muscle you can see there's a muscle so this muscle will bring about a response to the stimulus by remember the stimulus is a hot surface right a hot object that's your stimulus a hot object hence now these muscles the effector muscles will be the one to pull your hand away from that hot object so that's how a reflex arc works so now let us look at how do you answer that in a question because okay, you may understand it here but then you need to know how to put it in a question so, uh, how to answer a question about reflex arc so the reflex action of a person touching a hot pot this is very specific to this person because he's touching a hot hot pot so the stimulus is detected by the receptors i have said that receptors are those things that are those parts that detect a change in the environment or they detect something happening around you for example this hot object it is is a stimulus this hot object is a stimulus so now uh, the stimulus will be detected by receptors and then it has to be converted into a nerve impulse meaning that it does not travel as it is but it moves as a nerve impulse through your your, your, your neurons right so that nerve impulse will be transmitted along the sensory neuron along the sensory neuron through the dorsal root of the spinal cord i may not have mentioned it but then this tube here that is accommodating the sensory neuron is called the dorsal root but then that is not really important and then the impulse will be transmitted from the sensory neuron to an interneuron in the spinal cord so as you can see i've said here that the interneuron here it is at the spinal cord this is the spinal cord this is at your back so the messages arrived at your back which is the spinal cord then they that message will move to the interneuron the message is the impulse right then the impulse will be transmitted from the interneuron to the motor neuron and then from the motor neuron then will do what the impulse will exit the spinal cord through the ventral root so this tube here uh, this downward tube here just at this point is called the ventral root where, which accommodates the motor neuron actually so now the, the the impulse will now move through the ventral root and then uh, and is transmitted along the axon of the motor neuron there is no need to say that through the axon but then you can just say through the motor neuron and it goes to the effector organs which is the muscle remember the muscle this muscle specifically this muscle here that muscle it is the muscle that is causing a response so this causes the muscles in the arm to contract so the, when these muscles contract the hand will automatically pull away from the stimulus quickly 
So we can just say that a reflex action is an automatic action. It is not something that is voluntary. It is not what you do on your own, but then it is the work of your nervous system. Bear in mind that although in the central nervous system there is a brain and a spinal cord, a reflex action only involves the spinal cord because the information does not have to go to the brain so that you can think that there is something hot and you have to pull out. No, but then the spinal cord will automatically facilitate the process whereby the muscles will pull out. It is not you that is pulling out. It is not yourself actually that is pulling out, but then it is the muscles in the hand that is pulling out, that are pulling out from the, uh, from the hot object. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. I recommend that you do more practices and practices for you to understand this further. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.